Do you really need that goopy, gray, weird smelling paste on your CPU? Can't we just sit our impressive looking heat sinks on top of our processors and be done with it? No, not even remotely, and here's why. Many heat sinks don't sit flat against your CPU, and in some cases with good reason, but that might be for another video. Rather, they're either concave or convex, so there's a fair amount of space where your heat sink and processor aren't making proper contact. Also, even though the top of your CPU or the bottom of your heatsink might look perfectly smooth, even shiny in some cases, they're actually rougher at the microscopic level than you might think. And as a result, they don't actually sit completely flush against each other. This means that without thermal compound, air pockets exist between your CPU and your heatsink. So why is that a problem? Well, it turns out that even though hot or cold air makes dramatic difference in how your body feels as the seasons change, air is actually a very poor conductor of heat in general. If you don't believe me, try holding a steak an inch above a frying pan instead of placing it inside and let me know how that goes for you. So thermal paste fills these would-be air gaps so that your heatsink and CPU are touching more directly. And, the good stuff anyways, is also made from special materials that help conduct heat properly so that it can go up into your heatsink. So while you can use toothpaste as thermal compound to save money, you probably really shouldn't. For this to work best, the conducting material in thermal paste is usually some sort of metal, with more expensive varieties containing things like powdered silver. And while this makes sense since metal conducts heat quite well, it used to cause problems for novice builders who put on too much thermal compound because metal paste can also end up being electrically conductive. Oops. Fortunately, it's less of an issue these days, with higher quality compounds like Arctic Silver 5 managing to remain non-conductive in spite of using metal. Though you still need to keep it away from metal contacts and traces, as it is mildly capacitive, which can still be a problem. But if you want to be really safe, you can buy thermal paste that contains no metal at all. These are typically made of ceramic, though more exotic solutions that contain things like diamonds do exist, although they sadly won't add a bling factor to your rig. They will do a decent job of keeping your processor cool, however. The downside of these is that you typically won't get quite the same level of performance as you would with a more metallic-based paste, but high-quality ceramics are not only cheaper, they will also only set you back by a few degrees in most cases and are actually the best option for a exotic sub-zero cooling, which you can check out here. And of course, if you want to avoid messes entirely, you can get thermal pads, usually just made of silicone, which just sit squished between your heatsink and whatever you're trying to cool. You commonly see these on small graphics card components, since there's no danger of leakage, but since they can't get down into the micro crevices as well as paste, performance won't be nearly as good, so you don't see them on CPUs or the actual specific GPU very often. Whatever you do though, make sure you aren't accidentally buying thermal adhesive. These glues or epoxies permanently bond two things together. This stuff used to be somewhat common in certain PC components, but has now been mostly relegated to smaller electronics that aren't meant to be taken apart. Nonetheless, it's still easy to buy, so make sure you're getting the right stuff if you don't want to end up stuck without a working CPU. <laughs> I'll show myself how that was a little brutal. If you're not a member of Dollar Shave Club yet, join today and get your first month of razors for free. They deliver amazing razors directly to your door. Membership means that you can probably afford to shave with a fresh blade anytime you want, which is fantastic. You'll get a first class shave when you use the executive blade without hurting your wallet. And you can also use Dr. Carver's shave butter. Using it with the executive blade uh, creates a wonderfully smooth shave. They ship to the US, Canada, and Australia, so head over to dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus to give it a try for free. If you guys like the video, like it or dislike it if you don't like it or whatever. If you're like, this topic sucked, I have a good idea for another one, let us know down below and give us a comment and whatever else you want to do. Also check out Channel Super Fun because they are super fun and I'll see you next time.